back to my channel. Welcome back to Garth Loves Travel. So as I promised you guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit more vlogging. Um, you know, so it just, you know, this probably is like a look into my, in my date or uh, a look into my life in a day or a day in my life. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm here at Espresso House, a little breakfast, having my tea, having uh, a chocolate chip cookie, which is one of my uh, favorites. And um, just getting ready to head to Lana because I forgot my jogging clothes. So <laughs> as I usually do, forget something. So you know. uh, it's going to be a little bit of a shaky camera, but I just want to bring you guys into a little bit of my lifestyle. And one of the things that I love to do more than anything is jogging. So I'm going on a long distance run uh, this morning. Um, I'm in Stockholm, so I'll be, I already started my run. Uh, I mean, I don't know, you guys do kilometers here. We do miles in New York. So all the way back there. Um, so I think I've done about maybe two and a half miles so far. So I'm probably going to do about nine miles uh, this morning. So by the time you guys are watching this, it's probably like afternoon for you. But um, I'm jogging from Farsta, Farsta Centrum to like somewhere, somewhere in Tiraso, but further in Tiraso. Um, to the right of me, there is like a skate park with a lake and over here you could come in the summer times and you could do rowing you have like uh like this guy coming you know jogging with the baby stroller so a lot of people like this route i like this route because it has a little bit of downhill uh flat straights and also a little bit of hills as you guys already know here in sweden there's a lot of hills and i'm not like you know the hills person i'm not a big fan of hills coming from new york we have a lot of flats but the hills are good because it strengthens your legs so anyways maybe i'll bring you guys a clip of the end of my run but this is a part of my life and one of the things i love to do i know i'm going to sound like i'm struggling or out of breath but that's just how i breathe one of the things also i wanted to mention that i love to do is when i move to a new neighborhood or you know i'm in a new area for the first time i love to uh go for long jogs because i get to discover the area at the same time while I'm working out, you know? And it also inspires me to go even longer, you know, cause I love long distance running. You know, it's like one of those things that just gets me going, you know? And the best part is after you've, you've completed a really long run and then you get home and you take a nice shower. And then after you take your shower, your whole entire body feels so rejuvenated. Like your mind, your body, your spirit, everything. You feel like you got a new lease on the day on life and yeah so that's one of the things i love to do when i go to a new neighborhood is to go jogging around the area to explore it the number one most annoying thing about jogging in sweden um in the winter or the fall is when they put the rocks on on the road or the sidewalks so that you know when it snows or it's ice you have traction which is great but the other drawback is when you're running and I'm a, when I jog, I don't like to stop. Once I start jogging, I don't stop until I'm finished. No matter if I do nine, 10 miles, I don't stop. And the no most annoying thing is when a rock goes into your sneaker and now you're jogging on top of this rock as it is in my sneaker right now. And you don't want to stop because you, when, you, when I stop, it just messes with my momentum. So like now I have this rock in my sneaker that I need to remove, but it's not painful as of yet. So I'm going to keep on going, but at some point I have to remove it. Now I'm entering Tiraso, uh, which is another town here in Stockholm. And uh, I think after Tiraso, the next stop is going to be, uh, I think, Vendelso. So yeah, I'm going the distance, guys.
So now, as you guys can see from the sign, I'm going to go around the roundabout and I'm going to make a left over there into Tiraso. Uh, and uh, maybe, you no, know, maybe I'm just going to go keep going straight, go to the end to make a left, uh, go down to Vendel. So Love these little houses here i'm sorry i can't keep the camera still because like i told you guys before i don't like to stop when i jog but that is such a beautiful little house so now i think i'm entering uh vendelso um there's a little lake down there on the right hand side i uh, usually sometimes i drive this route when i say drive this route i mean there's a really nice eco maxi down uh in hanina and I think I had it on my channel before. They have the best or one of the best seafood selections, if not the best seafood uh, selection in Hanina, um, aside from the seafood hall in the city. But yeah, guys, so now I'm entering uh, on uh, maybe my second to last destination on this run that I'm doing. Oh uh, man, it feels so amazing, guys. You know, one of the things I love about Sweden or Swedish people is you guys are more active than Americans. I mean, you know, in a whole compared to Americans, I mean, you see elderly people, you know, outside with their ski sticks, you know, you know, power walking, some people running, some people with strollers. That I absolutely love to see because in the United States, I would say Americans are not as active what we do a whole when we talk about percentage wise as as you guys are here in sweden so and i love the fact that there's always a path where you could jog here you know some people don't like jogging next to cars oh there's some beautiful houses over there on the right that's where i'm talking about that there's a lake down there but of course you guys won't be able to see it as good because i'm jogging but anyway guys join me towards the end so now you've joined me at the end of my run i'm sorry i wanted to do a video on my way back um you know from going all the way down to uh hanina or um centrum but unfortunately my iphone battery died because i was listening to music and i was also um vlogging at the same time using the video so that burnt the power out of the battery which beyond me i mean you know we can send um rockets into space and probes to other planets but to this day we still cannot after how many years of battery technology we still cannot design a battery that's small enough to fit in a cell phone that can last 20 24 hours without having to charge riddle me this but anyway guys so this is the end of my run um i'm headed uh back thank you guys for following me like share subscribe and peace love joy and happiness